Well, guys, it's beginning. You see how they're trying to control people? They're paying people to go in the stores, mind you. I'm guessing that they're paying these people. They go in the stores, they pour out milk in protest. It's like they're trying to get these kids overseas to eat these uh, grum worms and, and, and other insects, you know. It's got more parasites in it than you can think of. Anyway, now this is their, the, the, the United Nations 2030 Agenda. One time it was 2020 agenda, then they changed it to 2030 because the people just aren't cooperating with them. Climate change proposal, a premium American food supply is at risk. Oh, good God. The latest environment trend here is pouring out milk in the grocery stores. All across the United Kingdom, teenagers concerned about the environment are doing milk pours. They go to grocery stores picking up cartons of uh, cow, cow powered milk and pouring out their contents according to their animal rights group, Animal Rebellion. Well, why don't they uh, lock up those little bastards? Videos they have propped up on social media shows the teens pouring milk on the floor over sales counter and everywhere else in the store. I'm sorry, but you know, that's a crime. Milk prices are displayed in supermarket in Washington, D.C., May 26, 2022, as American brace for summer sticker shock as inflation continues to grow. Milk and eggs, and all because of the Biden regime. The dairy industry is in, in, incredibly environmentally destructive. The five top Dairy Corporation is now responsible for more emissions than Exxon, Shell, or BP. Oh, 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 good God. You know, save us. Save us. Save us, old United Nations. We need a plant-based future now. i got to zoom that in because I want you to see that. Yeah. I'm telling you, boy, if you don't conform to the United Nations, you're sunk. Well, we're going to revoke their effing charter and get them people off of our property. Milk on the floor. Plant-based future. Da -da 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 -da. You believe these nitwits? Ah. Uh. I'm almost at a loss for words. These kids, they, they have no idea. None. None. God. The account also shared a report from Grain, an international nonprofit organization and the Institute for Agriculture and Trade Policy, which calls for the planet to drastically reduce greenhouse emissions by eliminating fee, meat and dairy consumption. Well, I hear, I'm gonna tell you what, you don't worry about greenhouse gases. The greenhouse gases can't escape because they've been uh, layering your clouds every day with calm trails so that the doggone greenhouse gases can't get by. That's why you're not getting any sunlight. That's why everything is dying off. That's why you have all this, um, um, oh, geez, uh, no water. All your water resources are drying up because you're not getting the rain. Why aren't you getting the rain? Because they're flooding the skies with these contrails. Oh, yeah, climate change proposals. Putting American food supply at risk is dairy farmer. Tell you what, people, you better wake up to the fact of what the hell's going on, and your government is involved. You control the government. I'll tell you what, people, you're, 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 
These people in, in government right now, these communists, they're not going to stop. They have no sense of mor morality or decency. Now, I'll tell you what, something else. You can't, you can't treat them peacefully because they haven't earned it. Animal Rebellion supporters have just poured milk across the floor all over dairy products at Fordham and Mason, Piccadilly. We are calling for the government to support farmers in a transition to a plant-based food system. Da, 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 da. In 2020, the EPA estimated 11% of the, uh, the U.S. total greenhouse emissions came from agriculture sector. Compared to 27% from transportation, 25% from energy, and 24% from industry. Well, here's another thing. We need to get rid of a lot of agencies in the United States. The ATF can go. Uh, the EPA especially needs to go. There's a lot of agencies that need to um, be terminated. I'll put a link to this because I got one more story here I got to show you. It kind of ties in with this. My God. People, wake up, wake up to what's going on in this country. Not just here, all over the world, and don't, it's not happening uh, by chance. Everything happens for a reason. There's always something behind it, just like all your, your uh, food uh, production facilities have burnt down and caught fire and uh, been destroyed. Not just here, but abroad too. They're doing this for a reason. And why doesn't the FBI investigate that? This is a this is a national concern. Ah, no, 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 no. They'd better go down and uh, uh, play golf down in uh, Mar Mar Lago. Okay, let's get to this other one. Hang in there, people. It begins, schools in the Netherlands serve mealworms and insects to children to save the planet from global warming. Well, you can bet your sweet little behind that uh, the elites, their kids are not eating their earthworms and insects to save the planet. They're not eating them themselves. These damn things are full of parasites. But in May, the World Economic Forum, oh yeah. Part of the, in case you don't know, that's part of the United Nations. Promoted the EU's new plan to use meal, mealworms in place of food in their bid to reduce meat consumption. Globalists are, globalists are pushing for the peasants to eat bugs, weeds, synthetic meat because bugs consume fewer resources than traditional livestock. You know, they tell you to take the walk, but they don't know how to walk that walk. Mmm, boy, synthetic meat, huh? In July, the U.S. Public Broadcasting joined the globalists and urged Americans to eat tasty insects and bugs to help global, to battle global warming. The United States Public Broadcasting Join the glow. I'm. Let me. We gotta stop. Stop funding these son of a bitches. They're all in on it. They're out for control, and that's all. This is about is control. Control over the population. When are you people gonna wake up to this? Schools in the Netherlands are now serving mealworms and insects to the children. They want them to get used to eating bugs. Hey, Kitty. Oh, people. You know, I, I don't know how much stuff that you have to put out to wake up American people. You know? You can shake their bed and shake their head. and If you don't get involved in this stuff, people, you're not going to put a stop to it. It will eventually get here. It, it will be eventually on your table. 
Don't give me that crap that you can't fight City Hall because you most certainly can. You control the government. The government does not control you. Okay, I will get a... Um, I'll put a link to this and, and to the milk. And for God's sake, people, you know, we're, not, we're doing this to wake you up to what's going on in the, in, in the United States and the rest of the world. If you don't get rid of these things that are causing all your problems, which is the United Nations, then, you know, I don't know what to tell you. You need to revoke their charter, cut off their funds forever, and get them the hell out of here. Let them go to Switzerland or wherever they built that new facility. But get them out of the United States and out of our damn business. See, Americans want things one way. They want a government, but they don't want to be bothered by government. Leave us alone. Don't go... You want, you want to make all these laws and stuff? If you want things a certain way, go to Russia. Get the hell out of the United States. Enough's enough.